Okay guys, we got our octopus leg here. What I like to do is um, always clip them, so you're gonna need a little dangle. Um, you've got a big circle of two floaties, and then just a thick piece of nylon to hook onto your sinker as your dangle at the end of the bait. Um, so what I like to do, just take the octopus and then on the sucker side, I just uh, the first few suckers I like to cut off like that. It's just for grip, and then basically turn it inside out. And then from the back, if you want to dry the octopus off, so you can actually hold it, just cut it all the way straight through. See when it's dry, it's easier to handle. And then you basically just want to flip this open. Okay, so what you want to do is then just turn it inside out. This will give you the nice white area. So just on the side of the head, you put your circle through there, and then hide your two floating floaties in there. Okay, then with your cotton, you're gonna start at the back. Just turn once or twice, you're going to see you're going to struggle with this tail. So then what I do, I just take the tip of the octopus just once or twice just to get it out of your way. And then you can hold it and start working your way up with the cotton all the way to the top. Don't use too much cotton, it's basically just to hold the weight over your floaties. You can put quite a bit of cotton on the bottom knot of your dangle so it doesn't tear out on the cast. Open that up, close it off, and then when you're done, you basically just break that one piece that you used. And that's it. Nice and proud hook. And then that on your casting, your dangle will be at the bottom. Put that on there. Oh. and streamlined for your cost and it will give you um, nice action in the water as well because in the current this will pull backwards with the float is pulling it up 